Just saw my homegirl Nikki from South Lawn lost her son, man. Our young generation is clearly lost, man. Clearly lost, man. Like, like, I don't even know what to say no more, man. Like, you youngsters just going around, just busting guns in crowds, kids getting killed, you know, and it's clearly the generation after us, man, that's so lost, man. And like half them young niggas shooting them guns go home and they knees shaking at night. But they don't show it to nobody because, you know, they ain't tough then. Hey man. Come on home, man. One day it's gonna be you and God. You going up or you going down. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be it. Come on home, man. At Canarsie Educational Campus in Brooklyn, the lesson plan for students is a little different today. Let me ask y'all a question. What, what, what today is perpetuating the violence amongst y'all? These students are learning about gang life from those who know it best. I started selling crack cocaine at 12 years old. I was a follower. I had a low self-esteem, so I did the things that I thought would make me fit in. Being in a gang offered Kareem Nelson glory, friendship, and he thought some protection. I went to Baltimore selling drugs, thinking I was the toughest dude in the world. I got into it with a guy, right? Ultimately got shot. That's what put him in this wheelchair, and eventually it's part of what turned his life around. And I escaped with my life. And that night on, I said, I don't want kids to, have to ever have to go through what I went through. Seven years ago, he founded Wheelchairs Against Guns, going into schools around New York City with other former gang members trying to prevent students from making the same decisions they did. Every day there's kids being recruited. Every day there's new gangs being made up. Why are schools an easy place for gang members to recruit, you know, new people? One, their parents aren't around. Two, right here, the kids are most impressionable. This is where they, where they find them, where they find themselves, and the gang members know that. So they're like, "Yo, we're gonna go to the schools." Forty-five percent of students across America report having gangs and gang members in their schools. The CDC says just over three quarters of all school homicides are the result of a single act of one-on-one -on -one violence, often gang-related or the result of quote interpersonal disputes.